Hello guys, so welcome back to our beach day lessons. So in that lesson, we're gonna uh, code this design here, which is, you know, the app counter to uh, seven segment. So this counter is just an app counter. It always counting up. There is no input because we don't have to choose now either to count down or count up like the up down counter. And what happens is that on each uh, clock edge, the count will increase. But we will not see the output as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. No, we're going to see the output on a seven segment display like this. Okay? That's basically the difference. Uh, so we have basically seven outputs. And we studied, you know, uh, uh, the relation of each one of these outputs. Here is basically the relations, okay, of each one of these outputs. Okay? So let's explore the code. So uh, let's start by the you know the inputs and outputs in the beginning. So we're gonna see here that there is no x, there is no input to the design. Basically, you have the reset and the clock. That's it. Okay. Then you have seven outputs: a, b, c, d, e, f, g, which is basically representing, you know, the uh, the seven LEDs here. Okay. Good. So we have two uh, uh, two D flip flops. Okay, so uh, each one has its own, you know, equation. The, the original design that we did in the lecture was uh, that one here. And as you see, there is no reset input. But again, if we do this, you're gonna see the same problems that we saw, uh, you know, two videos ago, in the up down counter using the flip flop, which is the undefined states for uh, the output. There will be no, no output basically, okay? That's why here I added, you know, this reset, reset input. It's a really very simple upgrade. I didn't do much here, just the two end gates. And when the reset is one, these two end gates will be zero. So then when the clock comes, then QA and QB will be resetted to zero. And, you know, we're gonna start from something we know, okay? And we're gonna avoid this undefined states. So let's check the rest of the design. We need two D flip flops. Here are the two D flip flops. You know, uh, D A is basically Q A X or Q B and the not reset. Q A X or Q B and the not reset here. D B is Q bar and the not reset. Okay. Uh, so D flip flop A has two inputs and two outputs, DA clock and QA Q bar, QA Q bar and D and X clock, DB is the same. And here is the seven equations for A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, A is uh, Q complement plus QA or Q bar because you, you already have Q bar, you know, as an, uh, you know, as, uh, as an internal signal. Okay, so just use it. Or QA, B is constant equal to one, C is QA bar plus QB. D is QB bar plus QA or QA. Okay. Uh, then E is QB bar. F is uh, QA bar and QB bar. And G is just the QA. Basically, this is basically the connections here. We didn't do something, something new. That's just the connections we have here. Okay. Here is the run. Uh, the test bench first, you know, the test bench is also simple. And uh, you just need to reset with one uh, for some time, then reset again, uh, in, you know, set reset again to zero. Okay, so the, the design will work. Okay, so let's uh, check. For example, here, the clock edge comes, the reset was, uh, here is really very nice, you know, uh, trick or very nice, I'm sorry, observation, I'm sorry. Uh, so when the, when the reset is one, so we are resetting the circuit, so the output will be zero, zero. Zero, zero means digit zero. So in that case, we're gonna see zero here on the seven segment, okay? So let's now bring, I'm gonna bring to use a seven segment equivalent to know which should be one and which should be zero. Yes, here it is, okay? Here is a seven segment equivalent in each digit. You don't need, you know, the, to check the design. We need these, you know, cases. So when the reset is one, we're gonna reset the circuit. Reset the circuit means both QA and QB equal to zero. And zero means zero digit. I mean, you should see zero in the seven segment. Zero means 
Everything is one. All the outputs are one except G should be zero. Let's look here. So A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1, G is zero. Okay. Then uh, when the clock comes, zero will be one because it's an up counter. One means only B and C are ones and everything else is zero. Look, A is zero, B and C are ones and the rest are just zeros. Good. Then the clock comes here, it's become two. Two, everything is one is except F and C. Let's check, F and C should be zero here. A, A1, B1, C0, then D, E are one, then F is zero, then G one again, okay? Finally, the three, everything is one except F and E, look, the two zeros here, F and E, everything else is one. Okay, guys, that was basically, you know, the, uh, the add counter to the seven segment display. It's really nicely designed, okay? So thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next video, bye-bye.